Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a continuation video to our last one wherein we got started with Azure Alerts for our application hosted on Web App Services. Uh, we created a brand new alert for our request, number of requests more than uh, two. We received alerts as well over the email and um, yeah, we saw how we could acknowledge it and uh, it was raised with certain severity uh, however that was created manually and we wanted to make sure that we understand how the alerting works now that we know how to create the alerts manually might not be a good option where you have many applications this is not applicable to only uh, azure web apps we're doing it for azure web apps however you could uh, app apply to any of your resources on azure so what are we going to do is we are going to create a same uh, rule using uh, Terraform which is an automation tool for uh, creating resources on any cloud uh, we got started with Terraform in our initial videos wherein we created app service with the Terraform as well and we're gonna do it same for our alerting as well so I'm gonna switch back to my IntelliJ code editor uh, feel free to use any of the, your favorite code editor I've got my main file open main.tf open and a variable.tf as well. Uh, so I'm going to start writing the code. I'm going to start with the provider first, which is Azure RM, and then um, the features. This is mandatory for version later than 12. Uh, I'm going to import my existing resources, which is Azure RM App Service, because this was created using the uh, CLI. If I go to my App Service resource group, um, and that's my app services I can just put it right over here and the resource groups so any resources which is not created using Terraform uh, you could always import them using the data sources um, copy this and then paste it right over here resource and now we're gonna start creating the um, resource group for our for our alert it's gonna be RG location gonna be West US and give it a name as monitoring resource and now the fun part the main part which we are interested we're gonna create start creating the alert first the action group remember we created the action group where we set up where we want to send the alerts to uh, we're gonna hit on action group give it a name give it a name as uh, request action by terraform the resource group gonna be the one which we have created here which is going to be azure source group dot rg dot name and then the short name which is uh, which is a request action again and then email receiver remember you could use any of them voice as well sms voice whatever you want to do i'm going to use uh, the email address aks devops shan i'm going to just confirm it from here aks devops shan at the rate outlook dot com and then give it a name as well send to admin and yeah that's about it your resource group action group is created now the fun part which is the metrics just in case you're wondering um, the do about the documentation you could go to the Terraform documentation and find all the code from here as well since I have already done that multiple times I kind of remember them gonna type in azure rm underscore monitor metric alert I'm gonna give it as a name as metrics and then the name um, metrics by terraform resource group gonna be same as azure rm resource group dot rg dot name and then the scope scope for which resource you want to create this alert for I want to create the alert for my app service so what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to type in data dot my app service name dot app service and then dot ID that's about it criteria um, criteria is gonna be aggregation gonna be total metrics name gonna be request this is same what what we did it manually and the metrics namespace this is going to be micro soft dot web slash sites you could get all of these api's from the microsoft documentation and I'm, since i'm doing it for the app service uh, that's going to be web slash sites had it been for storage a virtual machine it would have been microsoft dot storage and blah blah uh, operator going to be greater then greater than what two and that's about it uh, if you go to the Azure portal again and go to the alert section you could find all of the information what we have just feed in from the monitoring section as well mm. go to my app service I was in the wrong window go to the alerts go over here click on the alert and you would get all the information from here as well just to show you how did I got all the information operator aggregation type and threshold and that's what we feed in over here aggregation operator and the threshold metric name is going to be request and the uh, namespace would be your Azure web apps and then the action action going to be the action group which we have created over here pick up this API dot name of the API and then dot ID that's about it and we've done writing the code uh, since these are hard coded over here you could always variableize this you know how to do that in case you don't have forgotten go ahead and watch the first initial video which we created uh, for app services using Terraform I'm gonna hit open the terminal do a terraform inet first that's done do a terraform plan that's going to show me whatever oh okay um i don't want alert so i'm gonna do a terraform plan again and this should give me all right uh expected length uh, of short name in to be in the range of this so i could just rename the short name where is the short name in the line 17 and let's keep the short name a little shorter mm. action that's about it do whatever from plan again and hopefully hmm mm. it says the exp expected criteria to be one of them and got this is there a typo yes there is um with this capital steed do a terraform plan and now it has started to plan after multiple errors so this is going to give us uh, create multiple resources like the resource group for our alerting action group and then the actual alert as well let's give it few more seconds and yeah we've got three resources to be added one is resource group uh, and then the metrics for our app services that's our app services so with the severity three we could always change the severity as well and then the criteria and on top of we have got the action group we are happy with the changes what we're going to do is we are going to do apply this by typing terraform apply and then auto approve hit enter and within a few seconds this should just create the action group resource group and the alert for us all right so looks like the uh, terraform is now applied and all the three resources are created if we go back to our portal and go to the alerts again uh, we should see bunch of more alerting rule um, 
which is now created using Terraform. Yeah, this is right there, metrics by Terraform whenever it is greater than two, again the same, just that this was created using Terraform and you've got the action group, uh, metrics by Terraform, specific. we didn't specify any description, that's why we haven't got anything. And yeah, that's about it. You, If you go to the email, you will see that you've again added to the action group. Uh, and this time the action group was monitor resources, request action by TF, and that's what we created using our Terraform code. That's about it. I hope this was informative. You could always use them and use a for each loop if you have got multiple criteria. Highly recommend you do uh, not to hard code them the way it has been done. Uh, you could always put them into the variable section, which I've already shown you in the initial videos. And yeah, that's the best practice which would recommend. And that's about it. I hope this was informative. Thank you.